my name is Sam Williams and I'm the director of ECHO, Conservation Foundation on Bonaire that's working towards protection of parrots. I personally want to uh, accomplish parrot conservation here on the island and parrots make great flagship species where the stories about the habitat, the loss of trees, uh, the degradation of habitat, the parrot has a really can be a really great focal species for those stories and what's great about Bonaire is it presents uh, a really great uh, platform that you can then translate those ideas to other islands as well. One of my most memorable experiences with the parrots was working in Mauritius and I got to see eight of the echo parakeets that were there and that was when the world population was estimated to be about 16. So I was looking at half the world population of that species right there and that was just amazing. On July 1st, Stanapa and the, the island's police force confiscated 112 baby parrots and parakeets. Now some of these birds were less than a week old and they were all going to be shipped off the island. And Echo took responsibility for those birds. That, that evening, all those birds in, in their tiny little boxes were brought here and um, we assembled a team of people and since July 1st we've been working to uh, get these birds rehabilitated. We've also received various uh, birds in states of disrepair. So we had three parrots with broken wings and a parrot with a broken leg and then a, a parrot that turned up in somebody's dog's mouth and things like that. And we're looking after those birds and they are added to the group. And what we're hoping to do with all these birds is release them back into the wild. So we've now got 20 Lauras that we're looking after and preparing for release. We've released some of the older parakeets, but we're still looking after 50 of the younger birds and so we we're still have, having to feed the birds twice a day and there's an, an enormous amount of work in just caring for the birds and getting them ready. Part of that is uh, bringing fresh branches for them so that they're learning about the foods that they'll naturally found, find in the wild. We give the birds, uh, the teachers, eight bowls of food twice a day. And John, Nick, and the team of volunteers are um, put, putting the food in there. They get seeds, and then they get all sorts of different fruits. And then in addition to that, they're getting this, these fresh branches, so they're learning about the food they're going to find in the wild. And that's twice a day. We're washing the dishes. And then every evening, John and Nick are in here cleaning the eggs up. So they're, they're doing a great job. We've now got about 20 Lauras, the, the parrot, and about 50 Prakichis. The other birds have all been released, that, that were able to be released, have been released, and um, we're going to be working on these birds now to get them ready to be released back into the wild. There's one unique feature about the parrots here on the island, and that's that they're nesting in these big uh, cliff cavities. Normally parrots nest in trees, but when we're out in the breeding season doing our work, they, we have to go and abseil down the cliffs and, and we're checking the baby parrots in the cliffs. And we found parrot nests which go into the cliffs three meters horizontally. And we're using infrared uh, video cameras to check the babies and things like that.
The life cycle of the parrot is really interesting because they're they're long-lived species and so and they have slow development. So the babies are really uh, feeble when they hatch. They're really dependent on the parents, and then they're in the nest for two months, and then they fledge and they'll still be dependent on their parents for several months after they've fledged. Then they're flying around, and then it might be four to eight years before they even think about breeding because they've got delayed maturity. So in those times they're hanging around, they're coming into town and then as they mature and they might live for 40 to 80 years, we don't really know, then that's when they're busy doing, they're busy breeding and, and making their own babies. We at ECHO hope that here on Bonaire the future for the parrots will be a larger population but also that through our work we're able to put an economic value on the parrots that's sustainable so people appreciate the birds in their natural environment and, and then can benefit from having this wonderful biodiversity here on the island. Mama, mama.